Hello everyone and welcome to a new loot video. Today we are gonna do loot from 10,000 armored zombies in the Samorgals fort. I have already killed 20,000 armored zombies before but these are slightly stronger. With these new armored zombies comes a new drop called the broken zombie helmet which got a drop rate of 1 in 600. But the reason for this video is not the zombie helmet, it is actually the hard clues it can drop. So let's see how many I can get in 10,000 kills. For the gear and inventory I will go with mage and I will be using the ice burst spell in the ancient spellbook. When it comes to the collection log we are 30 out of 54 in the miscellaneous section. And the only collection log you can get from these zombies are the broken zombie helmet. You can also get the broken zombie axe from these zombies, but as you can see I already have a few of them. With that being said, let's get started. Seems like you need to exit the cave as well when you're gonna aggro the zombies again. There's the first broken zombie axe, not the item we are going for, but still some nice value to it at least. There's the first hard clue as well, that took almost 300 kills. <laughs> There is the helm at 415 kills. I already got two of the broken zombie axe and one of the broken zombie helmet. There's the second helmet already. What the hell? <laughs> Not even 500 kills. And we are now at 1000 kills in total. 9,000 to go. Almost back to back. What the hell? And we are at 3,000 kills. 7,000 to go. And there is 5,000 kills. We are officially halfway done. And there is 7,000 kills, only 3,000 to go. And there is loot from 10,000 armored zombies complete. Now we just need to do all the clues, which is gonna take a little bit of time. It's 83 hard clues on the ground at the moment. And there's a last clue picked up from this place. I'm never gonna do hard clues here again. Never. Ever. If you are gonna do a lot of clues, I do not recommend you to go to the Simorgals fort. You should rather go to the Simorgals base and do those armored zombies instead. Or you can go to the warp chalice in the catacombs, that's good as well. The juggle time for each clue at Summergold's Fort is about 92 seconds. That time is if you are using the Gomult Hilt as a teleport. As a comparison, you are only using 30 seconds for the Summergold's base zombies, 27 seconds for Warp Jellies, and 53 seconds for the Araxites if you are using the Fairy Ring code ALQ. So for some cases, the Morgul's Forge Zombies are three times slower to juggle loose. And there is the last hard clue complete. And we now have in total 449 hard clues. And for the total loot, we are at 62.7 mil. 26 broken zombie axes, 21 broken zombie helmets and 83 hard clues in total. For the collection log we are now 31 out of 54 on the miscellaneous section and we have in total 52 broken zombie axes and uh, 21 helmets. 
When it comes to the experience earned, I earned about 2.5 million hit point XP and 3.1 million magic XP. When it comes to the time used, I used about 17 hours. But if you are including all the hard clues I did, it comes out to be about 25 hours. And the kills each hour is about 600. When it comes to the supplies used, I used about 100 prey potions, 32,000 death runes, 64,000 chaos runes, and 4,500 blood runes. Thank you all for watching. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one.